What's happening, my people? So it's a Friday night, Black Friday. Man, they got a lot of albums dropped. I got a lot of reviews to try to do. I'm going to try to do them all. But, man, these, these Black Friday, Thanksgiving came up. See, I got things to do tomorrow and stuff, man. I'm going to try to run through these. Uh, I'm not going to do my usual reviews. I normally do every track and stuff. So I'm going to just give you a, a, a synopsis of the album or whatever. But this is Griselda, WWCD, What Would Chine Gun Do? And this is 13 songs, 47 minutes. This is from the Griselda crew. This is uh, with Benny the Butcher, uh, Conway, and uh, with Conway the Machine, and uh, what's the other one? I don't know. Uh, I know him, but I'm, I'm, I'm rushing. I'm rushing. But uh, overall, this is the first official Shady Albums release. So, will will they change? It would change the uh the process up, change the sound or whatever. Will they have have a bunch of crazy Eminem beats like they did with Slaughterhouse or whatever? But nah, they keep the same sound. They got the Griselda sound, that classic New York sound, sound like Big L would jump on here or the Wu Tang Clan. That's what it give me vibes of. Uh, my Deep would jump on these records or something. That's what it feel like. But. I, I like the project. I like the project. It's good for a change for them to finally have a have a long kind of project. All their projects, man, they have like little short seven song projects, five songs and stuff. Uh, I, did I mention this is 13 songs, 47 minutes? I think I did. But I, I like it, man. I like it. But things I like about things I don't like about it. Like, I like they sound. They sound is classic New York uh, lyricism, hard content, you get that street vibes and ain't no sucker-ish or whatever. But then it, the, the negatives is like, it doesn't have a lot of diversity in it. You don't get like a, like highs and lows and, and get like a feel of them personally or something. They don't show any vulnerabilities or anything like that. You don't get none of, none of that. You get the same stuff. You get, I'm going to shoot you in your face. I'm slinging this weight. Oh, we hard. You're going to get all that stuff. So, if you into that, you're good. Like, as far as I'm in Louisiana and stuff. So, what I think the majority of people would just, like, jump on this and be like, oh, I like that. I don't know. I, I think this is too, too New York for, for, like, people around here or something. They kind of gravitate to a different kind of just money bag, yo, NBA young bar type sound. They want to... I mean, it, they they into some other stuff. So I don't think they would really uh, this would would really turn people into fans with them. But uh, it starts off with Raekwon. Raekwon got the intro, so he just talking on there. Songs that I enjoy is Cruiserweight Coke. I like how they switched switched up the flow on this one a little bit compared to other tracks. Freddie Hotspot, love the piano beat, Homeboy Flow, Homeboy Flow. Uh, which one of these? Maybe West Side Gun. I think uh, think they might be West Side Gun on this song. He sound like A Z on the uh, on the old Nas. Uh, it ain't hard to tell. I think that's the song Nas uh, A Z was on. But he his voice it sounds like A Z on there, man. So I kind of like that just because of nostalgia purposes or something. The Illmatic was was the ish in that verse and stuff. A Z. Yeah, in life and actuality, whether the data to the return of the pen on salary. Is money already contained? <laughs> anyway, Kennedy, I like Kennedy. Uh, it's just like a little interlude or whatever, but it's, it's so funny. Like it's they singing their ass off. Like this girl, I blow your fucking face off, blow your fucking face off. I'm like, <laughs> that's crazy. Uh, City on the map featuring Fifty. It is so refreshing to hear Fifty on just some some new stuff. Some gangster stuff. See if he still got it. He still got it. 50 hang with them bars. Like Griselda crew, they the hardest in the, in the rap game right now. It seems like, especially we're well, up north. But 50 is right there with them, dog. 50 sound good. 50, a hey, salute 50. Uh, May Store featuring Keisha Plum. Just sounds super grimy, eerie beat. I like that. Her part on there, she got the verse at the end. And it's like spoken word is poetry, but it's like, we go into your set. You can't mess with us. We will blow your effing head off. And it's so, 
It's so smooth the way she's doing it, like spoken word poetry, but she's talking the most grimy stuff. We will push keys. And I'm like, look at this right here. So that was, it was cool. It was clever. And I got to mention Bang. Bang, other uh, things. It's a remix. Uh, you got to mention because Eminem is on there. Uh, that's all I'm going to talk about. Eminem verse. He, he do, he do his thing on here, but it's like, does it make the song better? Does it have replay value to it? Not really. Like, it's good for that one time for you to hear his stuff or whatever, but then it's like, okay, I'm not going to listen to that anymore. I don't think so. It's not like, like sometimes you get like, like a, on maybe Benny the Butcher. And I think it was uh, some with the 18 Willis. Some with the 18 Willis. And uh, Pusha T was on there. And he had an incredible verse. And he's like, I'm going to listen to this again. I'm going to listen to this. Push, do his thing. But the Eminem track is not like, oh. It's just like, eh, cool. But my overall thoughts about this project, I like that they that they went more songs on this. So like 14 songs, rather. That's double what they usually put out. Uh, I, give this, I give it an 8. I give it an 8, man. Just because classic hip-hop, lyricism, but the diversity on here isn't, isn't the best in the world. They they stuck to their roots. They didn't sell out just because they on shady records or whatever. I give it an 8 out of 10, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Go be the greatest or most hated, man. Holla at your boy. Peace out.